When is he going to speak publicly again after Tuesday's disastrous election results? And is the liberal leader preparing to fall on his own sword? As Julie Van Dusen tells us, the rumor mill is busy. Well, I guess much of it is because we haven't heard from Stefan Zion. The last time we heard from him was election night. The following day, all of the leaders had something to say, but not Stefan Zion. And, of course, the fact that they lost 19 seats in this campaign and down to 26 percent, their lowest showing in history, has got to be a problem for Stefan Zion. Now, today, the Toronto Star is carrying a front-page article saying that he will likely step down today. Um, there is a lot of speculation going around, but I just have to let you know that the party officials have been putting out emails. I'll read them to you, um, basically saying that uh, this morning there are media reports that Monsieur Dion will be resigning today. This is not the case. We will properly advise the media when he is prepared to speak publicly. He is not holding a press conference today. Now. Um, there's not a lot of information kind of flying around about when he will speak next, but we know that he is obviously contemplating what he should do next. Now, when you look at the entrails of what happened, and even talking to, you know, yesterday I spoke to a defeated MP, you know, who said kind of the obvious, this green shift plan was very difficult to sell. It, you know, Canadians uh, and, and a lot of constituents for MPs saw it as a tax, and that's how the Conservatives framed it. It was difficult to go door to door selling that. Mr. Dion would have to know that when MPs left Parliament Hill heading off to the election campaign, it was like they were off to the abattoir. You know, there was a lot of like glum faces, like, how are we going to sell this dog out there door to door, right? And so, in, in a sense, uh, you know, Mr. Dion has to sit there and know that, you know, 19 seats, that's, uh, those, that's not, not small potatoes, right? And the plan that he put, you know, gave people to sell was not an easy plan to sell. I mean, even David Smith, the campaign co-chair, was saying on election night, you know, it was a tough sell.